Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line series, Kylo Ren with his Star Killer base. Now, this guy was a Kmart exclusive, so uh, I don't have a Kmart, so I had to actually order this from a other online retailer uh, and pay a little bit of extra money for it, but uh, I guess the question is, is it worth it? Because if you've already got a Kylo Ren from Wave 1, do you necessarily need this one? So we're going to take a look at some of the differences, do some comparisons, uh, but this is basically what you get with... Uh, this guy here so you get a little bit of different paint you obviously get the base but there's a couple of things that are different with this guy where you did not get them on the original version so first off I want to take a look at the base now I've got a couple couple of issues with this one the feet where they are right here they are too big uh, for the foot so you can kind of see that it will slide back and forth or I think this one's even bigger so you can kind of see that it slides back and forth right there and there's also no pegs. I mean, you got the the holes here on the bottom of the feet where it seems like that would make the most sense to where you could peg them in there so he could stand there very securely. Uh, but sometimes he falls over, as you can kind of see there. And you try to get the, the legs correct. And, uh, you know, just start turning them here and the legs will, or the feet will start switching back and forth. So if we would have got some peg holes in there, that would have been nice. But um, just looking at the clear base... Uh, but with some kind of snow on here and you see some different terrain on here. So it looks like there was some tracks there and he just stepped on it. You can see the impressions of his feet. And it's all right. Uh, to me, I, it's not necessary. It would just would have been cool to get the pegs, you know. Uh, but as far as some of the other accessories that you get, uh, you're going to get... Come on, focus for me. Uh, let's try there we go. All right, so you're going to get two lightsabers. So like the original Kylo Ren, uh, we got this one here, and it just pulls out. Let's see there. Uh, and that was supposed to be, you know, whether you wanted to have him, you know, bladed or unbladed. Uh, this was your lightsaber. So you see some gray paint on there, a little bit of uh, copper, but not really a whole lot. On this one here, it's not that jazzed up, but you can see a little bit of the gray paint and then that red line going down here. Some gold there and red at the end. And this is where it gets really cool. So this is the non-detaching and you can see the difference in how much better it looks. Uh, they are the same length, but I just like this one so much better. Uh, just You can see the detail, the difference. Uh, it almost looks like the Elite Series one, which I'll have to take a look at. But again, but I think it it's the exact same one. So uh, I prefer this blade. You can see all the nice you know paint in it, uh, the gold, the red, the silver, kind of black wash over it. So very cool little blade. And now I'll take a look at the the figure and what's different about this guy and this guy. So as far as the the sculpt of it, it's you know the same. The head is exactly the same. You know this little uh, you know back section here, it's exactly the same. The legs, everything. But there are a couple of different differences uh, with the paint. As you can see, this one just has some. Get it to focus here. Just some kind of silver paint in there. To where this one, it's actually the outside is painted silver and what's painted silver here is left black and this is just silver around it if you can kind of see what i'm talking about there so i actually much prefer this one i think it's a little bit better also with the fist as you can see this one is just that plain black plastic to where you get a gloss here at the end of the the fingers so it's much more glossy and the same on the inside as well Having some focusing issues, I apologize. Uh, but you do see those uh, hands where they're kind of glossy at the fingertips, which I like. Uh, this hand is completely different. So this is the hand that I wish we would have got from the very beginning. Uh, it's something that I thought this guy was missing because you have the lightsaber in one hand and this hand is just out here like just open-handed grip, which is kind of weird. But this one you kind of get the force hand, which we've seen in the movie and in the trailer. So I much prefer this. And down here, you know, this was all black. Now the stitching starts a lot higher up here to where you can see that it starts lower on this guy. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, but then you do have this little white, you know, in specks here, which I guess is supposed to be snow. Uh, I would have preferred it just to uh, have the white, not the white specks. 
but just this, you know, kind of brush white on it, I think it would have looked a little bit better instead of the uh, little specks that it has. And this, it would have been cooler if, you know, because, like, you look here, how it's kind of uneven going like that. Also uneven here. Here on the back, it's just a straight line across uneven, or, you know, even. So it would have been cooler if this was kind of uneven as well. Just would have looked a little bit more natural. Uh, also with the boots, you're going to have a little bit of white on them. You can kind of see it. it looks like they just kind of blasted it. Which is kind of cool, and it makes, it makes sense uh, because, you know, he's out there in the snow, and you're going to put him on the... A little display stand that it comes with. So just a couple of things that I think they could have done better with the figure. But I also like some of the changes they made with the belt buckle and also the hands and putting the gloss on them. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the articulation with this guy. Pretty simple. Uh, it's just like all the rest of them. Uh, you can take this down if you wanted to. Uh, the head rotates on a ball joint. Uh, not really getting a whole lot out of the, the neck. Uh, but he does, you know, look up and down because of the ball joint and, you know, side to side. Uh, the shoulders... This one goes out thus far. This one goes out a little bit further just because you're hindered with this section here. Uh, it does you know, rotate going back and forth. This one will swing 360 all the way around. Uh, the elbows go 90 degrees and they also rotate here. The hands, they can rotate. And this hand uh, looks like it goes up and down. And this hand right here, it goes left to right. Then with the waist and abs section, it's under there even though you can't see it, uh, but it does have quite a bit of movement and rotation there. The legs, just like all the rest of them, it does because he has the slits right here. Uh, you can still get some pretty good poses, and it's not hindered by this other uh, you know soft plastic section here. But it goes back and forth out. It does have the thigh cut where it will rotate at the leg. The double jointed knee. And the foot goes back and forth and also rotates as well. So there's a look at uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, depending on how much you have extra you have to pay for it, um, you know, I can't speak for everyone. I had, uh, I think this thing retailed at Kmart. Uh, if you were able to get it there, I think it retailed at $30 or maybe $25. But I had to order it by another another uh, online retailer. Um and it was 40 which I thought was pretty pretty expensive. But if I had to do it again, I still would. Uh, one little thing here that I've kind of found as an issue, I can probably heat this up and you know push the fingers in a little bit more. But the grip isn't as solid on this guy. You can kind of see that it, it just doesn't hold the lightsaber very well. Maybe if we get a little bit closer to the hand, uh, that seems to work. So I have a couple of gripes, but I also have some things that I really like with the figure. So I just wanted to share those with you guys, and you can kind of make your decision from there. But yeah, look how much better that lightsaber is. And with that hand, that's really cool. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.